Okay, so we've got a bit of a family affair here today at the uh, day two of the Cassidy Construction Tauranga Cup. Next to me is Toby Dunn, sailing the mighty 404 Vengeance, and his mum over here, Sam Dunn, who's at, who used to sail this boat. Sam, what year did you sail this boat? Um, 1991 until 1995. So there you go. Toby, what's it like sailing your mum's old P-Class here at Murray's Bay? It's really cool. The history is amazing. Yeah. And um, it's cool sailing all the boats. And it's cool that this year there was a big like rebirth of the P-Class. Yeah, cool. And you're enjoying the racing out there, mate? You're um, yeah. enjoying it a bit more than, than your Opti stuff? Yeah, you go a bit faster. It's really fun. Yeah. And yeah. A bit more difficult? A bit more difficult. And Sam, for you, Obviously, you're a uh, Naomi James Trophy winner in 1995 in the 404. What's it like having your boy back there sailing the, the Mighty Vengeance? Yeah, it's pretty special actually because um, the Vengeance was a really special boat for my, our family. Like, I definitely, when my dad bought it for me, I felt really, really, really lucky and I always thought that it was one of the fastest boats out there. So, that and it gave me the confidence. Yeah. And Toby's still doing the name proud, isn't he? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And so, Toby, how's the regatta been going for you quickly? It's been going all right. Me doing too amazing, but I'm not doing too bad either. Are you, like, achieving your goals? Not quite. Not quite? So you've got quite. three more races to go? Yeah. Looking forward to tomorrow? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, family. <laughs> oh. Okay, so here we are with a, a, a pretty well-known New Zealand sailing family. We've got Dean and Isla Barker. Dean, you were a 1988 Tanner and Tauranga Cup winner. Now you've got your daughter back sailing the P. How's it? Oh, it's great. You know, so nice to, um, you know, to see the P class sort of resurgence again. Um, you know, it doesn't seem that long ago we were, we were battling it out down in uh, Nelson yep. in 1988, but. Um, yeah, it's it's really cool to see all the, the same boats out there, and it's uh, it's great that Isla's sort of decided to take it on and um, give it a go. So really proud of what she's doing. And Isla, you you haven't been in the P long at all, you know. You've only really only got in it a month or so ago, right? And so how is it doing your first Tauranga Cup? Um, it's really tough against all the other competitors. They're all very good. Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm doing all right for this six times sailing in the P. Um, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And the conditions have been pretty nice for you, haven't they? Yeah, the first day was quite choppy, but it was good. <laughs> that's good. Now, and has your dad been giving you a few tips in the P and giving you a few stories from way back in the days? Are you getting bored, of, bored with them yet? Yep, he's giving me lots of tips every after every race, but... You're not getting bored with those tips, though, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Thanks, guys. And uh, Isla, I hope the rest of the regatta goes well. And um, you're, not, go. you're not going to give us any feedback on how good a job we're doing on the pin laying well, uh, at the moment. Yeah, like Nathan and I are out there working incredibly hard. All the, all the feedback we've had is we're doing a much better job than Richard Meacham was doing. Um, yeah, so, well, you know, it's it, you know, some big shoes to fill. No, oh, not really. But, uh, <laughs> from but, the little guy. Yeah. But you know what it's like in New Zealand. If you're not being told you're doing a bad job, you're doing a good job, mate. I'm not here to pat your back. And... No, no. Any feedback's good, though. So thanks, Ken. Cheers. OK, I've, uh, at the end of day two here in the Tauranga Cup, I've got Thomas Linklater from Tauranga. How was your day, buddy? Um, it was pretty good. I had a really good result, well for me, I got P16 in second race, but oh, nice. the rest of the day was pretty good. Yeah, and uh, the conditions, do they suit you? Or you? The, the conditions were really good, like, yeah. we thought that it was going to be lighter, but then the wind picked up and it just became way easier for everyone to sail. Oh, that's awesome. So, uh, what's your goal heading into tomorrow? Um, probably just stay consistent and just... Yeah. Not try and try not to fall back. So if you've done that one sixteenth, you can do another couple of them. Yeah, I hope so. Awesome, mate. Good on you, mate. We'll, we'll uh, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. So, thank you. Cheers. So I'm here with Tessa Clinton, who's sailing. I'd have to say one of the more famous P classes in the fleet, Tessa P15 Staccato, going back to all the way back to the Craig Monk days. 
Um, Hamish Pepper sailed it really well, the, the Coots boys. How is it sailing uh, one of these cool P-classes? Um, well, it's not the fastest around. It's not the fastest well, actually, around? No, I can't say that. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fast, but it could be faster, I think. Yeah. But it's still good. Nothing to do with the uh, person holding the tiller? It probably does. <laughs> a lot. And how's your regatta going so far? It's a, it's a really tight battle there for the uh, top of the girls' fleet. Yeah, a bit scary. It's a bit scary, is it? I have you... had a shock of a regatta. You've had a shocker, have you? Yeah. Oh, well, you've got three more races to go, right? Yeah. No reason you can't turn it around? Yeah, I guess. Awesome. Oh, I guess. <laughs> How are the conditions today? Light and kind of choppy. Yeah. Do you like that? No. No. So what are you after? What can Flat. We, what can we dial up from Predict Wind for tomorrow? Flat and 30 knots. Flat and 30. Well, I'm, I'm not thinking that's going to come, but I'll have a chat to Nick Olsen and the team at Predict and see what we can come up with, okay? Yes, please. Awesome. Cheers, mate. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>So I am here with Gretel Satherwaite and Michael Knopf, who is your uncle, mm -hmm. and you are sailing his old boat, which they built, their family built this boat in 1989. Yeah. How's that, Gretel, sailing your uncle's boat? Is it a fast one? Oh, it's pretty fast. It's, pretty it's real cool. It's, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a good boat. Yep, nice to keep it in the family, eh? Yeah. And I see your, uh, your uncle's been down here, this regatta, giving you a few tips, a few stories from the old days. Oh, a few. Good ones? You could say that. You I could guess. say that? I guess, a little bit. Now Mike, how is it, uh, you know, seeing the boat back in the family and uh, having your niece here sailing the boat must be a cool feeling? Yeah, no, it's amazing. It's, uh, when, we, when we had the boat built, it was a piece of furniture and it's, uh, you know, she's 30 odd years down the track and it still looks a, an absolute piece, you know. It's got a bit of use marks, but it's great to see it and it's great to see it out racing. Yeah, it's been a great little revival of the freight and there's some cool little family connections which is, uh, you know, it's all what the P-Class is all about. Yeah, no, I remember it like it was yesterday as well, so it's always nice to come back and... And Gretel, how's the regatta going for you? Oh, it's okay. Yeah? Um, it's not exactly my conditions today. Right. I'd prefer a lot more wind, right. but, you know, we can work with it. Well, we just spoke with Tessa as well and she was hoping for 30 knots in flat water tomorrow. How do you reckon that would go for you? Be perfect. Yeah. Quite like that. I don't think it's going to happen. No. no. All right. Well, best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Okay. We've got Ollie Stone and Callum Hyde here. Um, end of day two. Ollie, you absolutely smashed. Biggest win of the of the regatta in that last race today. That must have felt pretty good, mate. Yeah, it felt great. How did you do it? Um, so I started pin, I got a good start out pin, then people start to tack away, but then um, I saw it shifting left a bit and everyone wasn't, there wasn't too many people doing good out right. Yeah. So I continued continue to go right out, out right a bit. Out to the left. Out to the, yeah, <laughs> to the left. And um, yeah, it really paid off because I went round the top mark in first. That was able to extend on the reach. Yeah, you look look good. You just seem to sail away the whole time with the guys are battling behind. It makes it a quite a nice easy race, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice one. And Callum, how did you go out there today, mate? Um, I did really well. Um, I did better than all my results yesterday. Oh, awesome. So, That's yeah. cool. And what what did you put that down to? Was it the conditions, or did you learn um, stuff from yesterday? It was sort of the conditions, and I was getting better starts. Yeah. And I had clear air. That old trick of getting better starts and clear air, eh? It helps, yeah. doesn't it? And then that you guys, so you two boys, in these conditions, what's the secret to making a P class go fast? I'd say just keep your boat flat because the more you lean, the more you drift down. Yep. So just keep your boat flat. Keeping your boat flat, nice. What about you, Callum? Any, um, any tips? I would say um, going for a little more speed, I was doing. Right, um, and that choppy pipe. stuff. Yeah, nice one, boys. Well, we'll look forward to tomorrow. I think we're going to have a, probably a pretty similar day tomorrow. So, uh, you know, you're, you guys are happy with today, so let's keep it rolling tomorrow, eh? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cheers, boys. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with Liam Richards. How was your day today? Yeah, it was pretty good. Got some good results. Was it tough out there? Yeah, it was pretty light and choppy, so quite tough. Is your boat any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty fast. Could you keep your boat flat? 
Nah, I'm too small for that one. Oh, you just need to eat some Mackey D's and you'll be good. Yeah, bro. What's your trick to keeping the boat flat? High card normally works. Um, yeah, ease hike trim, that's, our, that's what the motto is for sailing, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do good tomorrow? I hope so, yeah. Okay, cool. See ya. Hey, Mary. Hi. What's your favourite Mackey D's meal? Filet fish because it makes me go faster. Okay. I swim like a fish. Okay. Are you going to have more of that? Nah. Are you too fat? I'm fast already. That's okay. Fine. Hi, my name is John T. Leach. We're here at the P Class Nationals. And the weather today was a bit choppy, pretty light, shifty as a northeast breeze. And the lift paid off. Yeah, just bang the corners. Give me my microphone. I've been looking for that all day. Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah. So I'm here with George Gautry, who's uh, George. You're out there coaching a few of the few of the uh, kids out there. Yeah, with Koei Yacht Club. With um We've had a pretty strong P-Class fleet for sort of the past four years, yeah. which has been really cool. And uh, one of them, we sort of had 18 boats, and there's only four other four other P-Classes. So it's really cool to see other clubs finally mm. buying into it and having a really strong fleet. Oh, it's yeah. amazing. For 52 boats here, um, you know, biggest fleet in a long time. It's pretty awesome, and they learn so much, eh, the kids in these boats? Yeah, and no, I just the P-Class, the vibe of the P-Class events, and parents have something to tinker with. Yeah. Unlike the Optis, you know, you see parents buying their old boats and their kids mm. sailing it, like. That's New Zealand sailing, really. And how's the how's the quality of your racing out there? Oh, it's pretty amazing, right? Yeah. You don't get much better days than this off Murray's Bay. Uh, don't have the big swell on the beach. You don't have the shifty yeah. offshore. It's a lot, it's I don't a lot know. There's, a, there's a lot of days I sail off Murray's Bay. I'm like, there's better places to be. But today is, yeah, it was epic out there. Yeah, nice. And the kids all seem to be enjoying it. There's a good vibe around the place. And uh, yeah, we're six races into a nine race regatta. It's um, shaping up to be a pretty tight one at the end too there's a there's a good battle in that top 10 yeah there's there's 10 boats 15 boats that are all sailing yeah. the boats really really well and yep. you see that in the results there's sort of five guys who are consistently hammering that top five and i think yeah tomorrow's going to be really interesting to see how it plays out and, and we, just, we just chatted with young ollie stone before <laughs> one of your boys and he uh he had the biggest win of the regatta in that last race with any any secret sauce from the from the coach going into that last one i don't think it's me that's doing it <laughs> the kids are sailing well i don't think i could take any credit for that but like all the kids are having fun in their own yeah. right and it's just it's cool to see you know, you tell the kids something, they do it, and you see a smile on their face when they cross the finish line, yeah. and that's that's what these events are about for awesome. me. Awesome, awesome. All right, cheers, mate. <laughs> Have fun good. out there tomorrow. Yeah, I'll try my best. <laughs>